I'm really excited to show you your workout. Uh, today's workout is a great full body workout with a lot of focus on your legs and your glutes, but we're also going to be working through your core, your shoulders, and your triceps. So starting with a squat, I'm going to have you do a bit of a wide leg squat. That means your toes are pointing out to the side slightly and you're, you're doing a bit of a plie, like in ballet. So we've been working on squats for a, a little while in your workouts and, and now we're going to take one and work with the pacing of it. So this is called a 3-2-1 squat and that means shoulders back, glutes nice and tight. You're going to take it down 3, 2, 1 and back up. Sit your weight back through the heels, chest up, go down for 3, 2, 1 and back up. Your whole set is three, two, one, and back up. When you come back up, try not to lock your knees. Try not to totally lock your knees. Stay in the muscle. Something I wanted to mention is if you find yourself during your day constantly just locking out your knees and just being lazy in your joints, you're going to wear your joints out a lot faster then if you can just teach yourself, no matter what you're doing at work or washing the dishes, to keep a slight, slight bend in the knee, just a small one, so that you stay in the muscles. Not only will you tone up your quads, your glutes, and your hamstrings faster, you're going to save your joints in the long run. So give the squats a try. Nice wide legs. Remember, it's three, two, one, and up. Still looking up, chest up, shoulders back and down hanging on to a weight for a little extra resistance. What goes with that are tricep push-ups. You want to grab your mat. Triceps work on extension. And we've been doing a little bit of tricep exercises. When you do a tricep push-up, you want to make sure that you're holding your wrists right close to your rib cage. Your elbows stay in tight to the body. Your shoulders stay back and down. So how I measure that out is I come down onto the mat, I get my wrists where I want them, right by my rib cage, I tuck my elbows in, I pull my shoulders back and down, and then I push up into a tricep push-up. So you want to lower yourself down and push back. Pushing from the palms, but more from your wrists. Shoulders back and down, chest up nice and high, and push back. If you don't have the strength to go all the way down and all the way up, go halfway down and back up to start off. Make sure you're not shrugging your shoulders. Keep them pulled back and down. Make sure you're not, you don't have your butt way up in the air. Try to keep your hips forward. Find a comfor comfortable position for your, for your hands, for your arms. Keep your elbows tucked to your sides and all the way up and all the way down. Keep pulling that shoulder girdle back and down to work through your triceps most effectively. When you're done a set, or if you need to take a little break in between, we're going to go right into glute kickbacks. So using your bum muscles and also working your core, you're going to inhale, flex your foot, point it straight back and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. No taking breaks. You're going to want to work through probably 15 to 20 each, each leg and point with your heel, tighten your glute. Inhale and exhale. When you're done on one side, come over, work on the other side. All the way over, keep your foot flexed and tighten your glute as you squeeze back. Try to keep pushing right out from your hip so you wouldn't take it and bring your leg way up or way out, you'd push straight back, keeping all your joints in a nice long line. So this workout is comprised of 3-2-1 squats, then grab your mat, do a set of push-ups, even if you go halfway down and back, then work into your glute lifts on each side, maybe a couple more push-ups, and from there.